Hi, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 Metasound tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be creating a clock, which is basically a regular impulse to play back our wave player over and over and over. This is an important concept, the clock, because we'll use it to drive a lot of our procedural audio system as we start getting into more and more complicated details here. So to build the clock, there are two nodes that we need. So let's right click the background and search for trigger counter, or sorry, trigger repeat. The trigger repeat will also need a BPM set to seconds. So these are the basically the three nodes here. This will, this will be our clock. So I'll need to trigger the repeat module when the metasound starts. And finally, the output of this trigger repeat will play back the wave player over and over and over with repeated triggers. The BPM to seconds node that I added here, this is important because it will allow us to control how fast the triggers are happening in a, in a way that's more familiar to musicians. So a BPM is beats per minute. So we can control how fast the triggers will happen with this BPM number here. So if I wanted to speed it up, let's say 120 beats per minute. And just to, to test things out here, let's go with another asset, something that's a bit more impulsy rather than continuous like the, the fire. So let's choose explosion and I'll just turn off the loop so that we can see that this will regularly trigger our wave player over and over and over at a speed that corresponds to 120 beats per minute. So I'll just slowly turn it up in the, in the input the, uh, with the gain here and let's have a listen. So not the nicest thing to listen to over and over, but there we have it, a simple clock for driving a procedural audio system. It's just these three guys here. So in the next tutorial, we'll use that clock to generate or to drive an envelope. And the envelopes are an important piece of how we can start to really work with um, synthesis and control different parameters like volume or, or um, or different modulations, such as the, the filter, perhaps the filter frequency. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial for creating a clock and we'll see you in the next one.